I too had this typical problem. After meditating for half an hour or so, we get into a very sublime state where you feel so calm and absorbed and extremely peaceful. And then yeah, after meditation, you might have tea, coffee, some breakfast and maybe watching TV. And after seeing something, you lose a connect that you already had. You've, the peaceful feeling that you had sometimes seemed to just go out of your hand just like that. Then you remain, oh, what happened to I? Ha- I was just having it and now it's like somebody moved my cheese, you know. <laughs> but nobody moved it. You lost it yourself. Lovely example Babuji Maharaj gave about uh, this uh, retaining a spiritual condition. Very apt. He said, when you lay a concrete, you know, they allow it for a few hours for curing it. They keep on sprinkling water until it settles down. You don't start using the freshly laid concrete, otherwise it will form various imprints. You must have seen many youngsters writing, I love Monica or I love so and so. You know, they are there forever. The imprints are there forever. Dog marks are there or cows walking or some lady with the high hill forget where she's walking into and She'll walk into this uh, freshly laid concrete. You can see all those things. <laughs> and that shows the state of mind. You see, you're so busy, preoccupied, thinking of so many other things and not paying attention to reality around you. Now, so Babuji Maharaj said, just as we don't start using concrete, immediately allow it to settle down and use it after two, three days. Likewise, spiritual condition that we are gifted with during the meditation, you spend so many hours meditating, preparing for it. Why do you want to lose it right away? He said, after half hour of meditation, don't just get up just like that, like a spring and you you think, oh, my meditation is over. Your spiritual state will be over. So, as soon as you finish your meditation, gently open your eyes and slowly try to savor the inner condition. Try to be one with it. Try to see how it feels. And if you can take it further, see where you felt the vibrations. In the beginning of our practice, you just have to pay attention to this one square foot of real estate. That's all. Divide it into four. Left lower, left upper, right lower, and right upper. That's all. And see, when you meditate, where did you feel the vibrations? Where did you feel lightness or heaviness? It is generally at one of the spots in the beginning. So pay attention to these two things, lightness or heaviness, where you felt vibrations. And later on, as you start identifying the vibrations, try to feel whether they are clockwise or anticlockwise. Further, whether you had a lot of thoughts, it's okay, but are you able to recollect those thoughts that you had during meditation? That's a very important thing because often we do get thoughts during meditation, but at the end of meditation, if someone asks you, what did you think about? There is, oh, I don't know. I cannot recollect. So that is the beauty of this meditation, see? Mind will be somewhere, your consciousness will be somewhere, and your end result is something else. That's why it really does not matter what happens during meditation. The end of it should be sublime, lighter, and peaceful. So, 
having severed the condition for a few minutes, try to be one with that condition. See? It's like, you know, the blind person, they are taught to identify through touch, braille language. See? We are also very blind when it comes to spiritual language. But we can associate that spiritual growth, spiritual letters through our feelings. Each time the feeling will be different. And when it is repeated, you can say, oh, I felt this earlier, but last time it was much deeper, this time it's much lighter. So some variations will be there. And as we become more and more, more and more sensitive towards this, more you try to read, more you will see. And once you start writing your journal, how you felt, how long you sat, what time you sat, things like that, some fundamental things like that, preliminary things, you will be able to observe more and more. This awareness that we carry during meditation and later on, supercharged after the meditation and we see keenly with a lot of interest how you, you feel and a little sankalpa, meaning some suggestion has to be made after the meditation, having read that inner state, that I will try and maintain, if not intensify the state that I have now. That means, let's see, after the meditation, having breakfast, now you have gone to office or you have gone to college. And in between, you're supposed to go to bathroom or you had some free time and you are just doing nothing on your table. Just close your eyes for 30 seconds or 20 seconds and try to recollect the state you had earlier. And each time you change your task, connect yourself with the master and see what happens. When you ever we connect ourselves with the master or your inner state, observe how your spiritual state changes. Whether you are receiving transmission or cleaning is happening, this all depends upon our keen interest. You will not find even any single moment where transmission is not flowing into us. It is always there.